So you can pretty much consider this the lead pages versus Instapage cliff note video. Now, obviously there's a lot going on between both of these. So I kind of wanted to create a very quick and condensed video giving you a basic overview of these two tools. I'll actually put a link down below deeper into the description if you're on YouTube, where you can actually click on that and get taken to the full blown post where I go over a lot of the similarities and differences in much deeper detail. So first we have lead pages, then of course there's gonna be Instapage, but let's go back to lead pages. They're primarily a landing page builder where you can obviously create high converting landing pages. Uh, they also have the option to build websites and plus they have a lot of other features like pop-ups, alert bars, and more, which you can kind of see right here just from going over these. Okay. Then on the other hand, you're going to have Instapage and Instapage can really help you build personalized and relevant post-click landing pages, right? They're a little bit more advanced when it comes to that, as you can see right here. Same ad spend, up to 400% more conversions, with the assumption that this is going to be geared towards slightly more advanced marketers, because a lot of these features that they come along with are going to be pretty advanced, okay? Aside from that, let's kind of go into the pricing real quickly. Lead Pages is going to be the quote-unquote winner when it comes to the overall price as they are much more cost effective, but keep in mind there's going to be different perks you know, that come along with each. So I'm just gonna go for monthly just so you can see what it's going to be like normally. Obviously, if you go to annual, you'll be able to save a little bit more, but the standard plan is going to be $37 a month, comes with one website. Uh, the cool thing about it is that you can get unlimited traffic and leads, which is a pretty big deal for a lot of people, plus you get the unlimited landing pages, pop-ups and alert bars, free hosting, and a few other things. Now, if you wanna start getting into the juicier benefits, you're gonna have to be looking at the pro, which is $79 a month. Here you are upgraded to three sites. You still get the unlimited landing pages, traffic and leads and free hosting. But now the cool thing, you can actually accept online sales and payments and you can do the unlimited AB split testing. So that's only going to be in the pro and advanced plans. And of course, then you have the advanced plan, which you get a lot of other things, which is going to be $321 per month. But I think you get the idea when it comes to that. Now, we have Instapage, which is pretty much more straightforward, okay? The monthly pricing is going to be $199 per month, or if you wanna do annual, it's gonna save you a little bit more. And once again, they have a lot of different features that I talk about and kind of go over when it comes to building a landing page in my actual post. But just kind of scrolling through, you can see uh, it's gonna be a lot of more advanced features. And I wanna scroll down where it talks to what you get with each. So for more plan flexibility, choose enterprise. However, with the business that comes with 30,000 unique visitors per month, 30 published landing page experiences, five workspaces, and even five team members, okay? So compared to lead pages, remember you get a unique amount of visitors, it's gonna be unlimited. You get an unlimited amount of landing pages as well. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to the prices and the perks, okay? So there are pretty much two really big differences when it comes to these landing page tools. I wanna to say that starting off with lead pages, it's much, it's much more simpler and it focuses on getting leads as well as making sales. Like it says right here, turn clicks into customers. Uh, they do have the ability to kind of you know sell stuff with the checkout pages, which is only going to be in their middle plan and going deeper into it. Then on the other hand, you have Instapage. In my opinion, is much more advanced. And it's perfect for more advanced marketers as well. And they put a really big emphasis on putting together the landing pages that convert like even with Google ads, you can integrate with a lot of uh, different things there. They have ways to really personalize it based upon where someone clicks and kind of matching it to your landing page. So all in all, it's going to be a much more advanced kind of experience. In my opinion, it's also geared at a different type of market. For example, if you're a newbie, you're probably not going to be using Instapage, but you should be using Instapage if, like these are the reasons why you might wanna use it, okay? So you want advanced landing page features. As we talked about, I didn't really go deep into those, but in my post, I go through a little bit more. These are much more advanced things that you might want. Uh, if paying slightly more isn't that big of a deal for you, Instapage might be for you. Like I said, it's usually for kind of like intermediate slash advanced marketers. Uh, if you plan on running pay-per-click ads or you plan on doing it in the future, Instapage can be for you. Uh, if you're not a beginner marketer and have a good amount of experience, Instapage can be great for you. Or maybe you just want landing pages and you don't really need to create a website. In my opinion, I usually don't use landing page builders for websites in the first place. But if any of those kind of sound like you, then Instapage will definitely be good for you. And I will put links down below for Instapage and of course, lead pages in case you want to try them out, seeing they both come with a free 14 day trial. Okay. Then we have lead pages. So you should go with lead pages. If you kind of want unlimited pages and traffic, like if that's a big deal for you, then that's definitely a very big perk. If you want something similar and not as advanced compared to Instapage, then lead pages might be for you. 
if you prefer getting a landing page builder at a lower price, or if there's some interest when it comes to creating a website, then lead pages will probably be your go-to landing page builder. Once again, I'll put a link down below where you can actually choose and pick which one you want to try out. Like I said, both are free 14 day trials, so you can at least test drive them just to see how much you like them and if they're going to be perfect for you. So that in a nutshell is going to be the big comparisons when it comes to these two landing page builders. Uh, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And like I said, be sure to check out the article. I go in much more detail when it comes to a lot of specifics. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. And I hope that this helps find you the best possible landing page builder for you.